Which relation is not a function? So as we look at each of these four equations, which one, how do we know what's a function and what's not? Right, so let, let's do a little review on what that is. And, and if you think you have a guess at what the answer is, just hang on to that for now. Um, but first of all, let's just talk about what a function really is, right? When I think a function, I think a domain and range, right? So that means that for a given value in the domain, for any one x, there can only be one y, right? So you can have a situation where you have different x's going to the same y. That's OK. So that's still a function. But the first time that you have a situation where you have one x going to more than one y, so I'll say this is y1 and this is y2, as soon as you have this situation where you have the same x going to two different y's, that's when you no longer have a function that's when you only have a relation so what's an, an example of this well the most this is one of uh, the most <laughs> simple things for algebra st two students to remember is the vertical line test right so if you have a graph let's draw a very simple graph then if you have something like let's suppose you had a parabola does a parabola pass the vertical line test? Well, it most certainly does. Right? We can draw a line there and it only crosses at exactly one point. Right? That's the only place that that line crosses the graph. And any other vertical line we draw would also only cross at one point. So that makes it a function. As opposed to if we had a circle, a circle would not pass the vertical line test. You draw a vertical line like this and it would cross in two locations and it would fail the vertical line test. And that's actually what you're looking for in this situation. If you look at the very first answer choice, it fits into the equation of a circle. Right? The standard equation of a circle is x minus a, where a is some constant, squared, plus y minus b squared equals c squared where c is the radius of the circle so c is the radius radius and a b is the center of the circle it's the center point center point so in this case we have the equation of a circle whose center is at 2 0 and that has a radius of 2 and it will certainly not pass the vertical line test. It will not be, you won't be able to say that for every x there is only one y. So it's not a function. And that is the correct answer. Why are the others true? For each of the other choices, you can get y by itself in terms of x in such a way that you'd be able to draw that graph and it would always pass the vertical line test. For example, number two you'd get y equals negative x squared minus 4x plus 4 right and that would just be a parabola that would face down but it would always pass the vertical line test it's just that it would be a, a parabola that would look more like that the third choice if you got y by itself, it would be y equals negative x plus 4, which is just a straight line. This fits perfectly into standard form of y equals mx plus b. So the slope would be negative 1 and the y-intercept would be 4. But it would be a straight line. So a straight line always passes the vertical line test. And lastly, the fourth one. The fourth one's a little different, so you might be tempted to take a deeper look at this one is xy equals 4 but what happens when you get y by itself y equals 4 over x and you may not know exactly how to graph that but remember you do have your graphing calculator available so you can give it a shot I believe the general trend for this one is that it's going to look something like this and it also has an element that 
is in the fourth quadrant. And it does indeed pass the vertical line test. It's asymptotic to the y-axis, so it approaches it but never quite gets there. But for any vertical line you draw, it'll only cross at one point, so it does pass. And that's the case with all four of these in that you can graph them on your graphing calculator. And you'll see that number one is a circle and that it will fail the test.